Hi guys, it's me Teacher Gorn. In our today's video, we will talk about how to solve the missing part of a given right triangle using the so, ka, and towa. So without further ado, let's do this topic. So what we have here are the two examples that we have for this video. And what we have here is to solve for the missing part of each right triangle using the so, ka, and towa. Before we dive in with this first and second example, let's have the SO. SO stands for the sine is equal to opposite over the hypotenuse. KA, it stands for the cosine is equal to adjacent side over the hypotenuse side. TOA, it stands for the tangent is equal to opposite over the adjacent. So let's go with the first example. This one is a given right triangle. And what we have here is an acute angle, which is the 36 degree. So what we need to do here is to know what kind of side is this and this with respect to your acute angle 36 degrees. With respect to your ang acute angle 36 degrees, this side or the missing side, which is X, this one is your opposite side because that is opposite to your acute angle. And definitely, this side which measures 10 centimeters is your hypotenuse because this 10 centimeters or this side is opposite to your right angle. So what, we do, what do we need to do here is to list down what we have. First, we have the given which is the hypotenuse and missing or the missing part is the opposite side so how are we going to decide which one among these three is useful for our given problem so remember you need to know which ratio has the opposite hypotenuse or hypotenuse in opposite okay very good you're correct we can use the saw so. therefore we will use sine and then what we need to do is to copy the acute angle which is 36 degrees so what we have is sine 36 degrees and remember our ratio opposite over the hypotenuse we will substitute the value of the opposite side which is this is x and the hypotenuse is 10 copy this one we have sine 36 degrees so what's next is we will cross multiply let's cross multiply and then i will use a different ink i will cross multiply 1 times x and then 10 times sine 36 so let's multiply 1 times x is x on the other side we have 10 times sine 36 degrees so to get the value of this x, we will use the calculator. So to simplify this, what you need to do is to input first 10. We will input first 10 and then press sine 36. So even though na hindi mo na kailang i press pa yung degree symbol, or you can simply close it and then press equal sign. So as you can see, we have here 5.87. 785. So to for our answer, we will just have a one decimal place or decimal point for this final answer. So if this is 5.87785 and this is to be rounded off as 5.9. And don't forget the unit and that is centimeters. This is the length of our opposite side or the variable x. Now let's continue with problem number two. For problem number two, so this is your right triangle, and this is the missing side, and this is the given side. With respect to your 40 degree angle, this x is the opposite. And with respect to your acute angle, 40 degrees, this is the adjacent side. So, what we need to do is to think which ratio 
has the opposite and adjacent. Okay, very good. We will use the TOA. But before that, let's list down all the given. Given is the adjacent side. Missing, or what's missing in this problem, is the opposite side. We will use the TOA or the tangent ratio. That is tangent 40 degrees. And then, copy the ratio, opposite over the adjacent side. This is tangent, 40 degrees, is equal to your opposite side, which is x, over the adjacent side, which is 6. Okay? So what we need to do is to cross-multiply again. I will put an invisible one here for us to multiply this x variable we have here and this one okay let's multiply this is 1 times x that is x for this copy 6 times tangent 40 degrees now again we will use our calculator our scientific calculator again this is very important press 6 then press tangent 40 degrees and as you can see this is the answer so we have 5.04697787 so sabi ko sa inyo kanina I told you earlier that we only have uh, we will only express our final answer in single decimal but since this is zero and when we round it off it is a whole number final answer here your x is equal to 5 centimeters and this is the answer for this problem guys so i hope guys you learned something from this video on how to find the missing sides or the missing side of a given right triangle using the soka and tawa and as part of her routine i will give you this problem i will draw a right triangle and i hope na makita ko sa ating comment section what is your answer in this problem so i will draw a, pro a right triangle here this one so, the given R, this is 34 degrees, this is 12 centimeters, and the missing side is this. So, what is the answer? So, again guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe at hit the bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!